think it's a very good uh, day for Irish sport. Um, the National Sports Campus has been uh, stopping and starting and stopping and starting for quite some time now. Uh, we now have a very clear plan uh, as to how we're going to develop uh, training facilities and community facilities on site. Uh, we have the capital budget to do it and we have the partners uh, in the form of the uh, national governing bodies for the four big field sports uh, who are coming along and uh, over time will develop their training facilities in Abbottstown. I don't think building a big stadium uh, as the Bertie Bowl was envisaged would be worth it, but what we're doing here is much lower key, but is needed and uh, will produce an economic and social return. No, it's extremely important. I mean, we, we would hope to develop our section of the campus quite quickly. Uh, we see a huge advantage in terms of, of uh, development squads and the whole area around Dublin and Enstra. We, we think we'll get an excellent use out, out of this development, and for us it's actually quite high on the list of priorities. We intend to begin the first phase of development by January of next year, and we, we'd hope to get our facilities in place really we moved our headquarters out there in 2007 and during that period we haven't had pitches available to us and the announcement by the Minister today is very welcoming for us because he's affording uh, half a million euros seed capital to each of the four national associations, hockey ourselves, J and RFU, if we can match it. Uh, what that means for us is that we can get a spend of up to a million euros which should deliver two pitches and some dressing room facilities as well. So we've got great grassroots facilities now, we've got league squads and regional squads at development level, we've got a huge underage international programme. But the missing um, piece of the jigsaw has always been our own national academy. And this announcement today gives us the first phase of developing our, our own national academy. It's been a project uh, a long time in the making um, and the, the, the plans were there quite a number of years ago to actually build a world class uh, sports campus uh, for all of our sport and so it's great to see it's starting to come together now um, and from, a, from a, a professional rugby point of view if we can get all the facilities together in a phase space we'll ultimately end up with uh, facilities very similar to those that are used by our competitors um, such as the French uh, Training Centre, National Training Centre in Marcuses. Well, it's fantastic news for hockey. Um, the fact that we have land there to build a pitch and the sea funding announced by the, the Minister uh, means that we have a good chance to get started on that in the next uh, next little while. So, fantastic to have a, a wonderful training facility for our, for our squads and teams. The sport is developing, it's growing, uh, you know, from grassroots upwards, so it's in, a, it's in a healthy place, but we've got to keep pushing it on and develop such as this uh, really help that. Today is fantastic, I'm really excited about it, and it has brought certainty to the campus project, uh, which was lacking for some years maybe. So we have a window now of the next five years with finance allocated, so we can proceed now in a planned way. Um, and I hope to see very early progress on lots of projects, and the Minister's personal commitment is hugely encouraging. So we're very excited about the prospect. I think this is a great step forward for Irish sport. What's really happening is that a positive uh, endorsement by government of the plans that we have and that they're now going ahead and investing in it through us. And also the real statement is the four major field sports were all party to this decision whereby when we as an authority are now going to proceed to install the infrastructure, put in the services and sublet large parts of the campus to the individual sporting bodies and thereby enabling them to proceed with their own plans and investment. And we're also providing uh, with government assistance uh, funding, uh, matching funding for the initial uh, seed capital for investment by each of the governing bodies. So it's really terrific. And, and then there's the investment into the all-weather facilities, which are multi-sport, with the servicing, a modern servicing pavilion, and all that goes with it. And that will be open to the public on a manner similar to the National Aquatic Centre, that sort of economic model, which actually means that you can have elite people training there, and then you can have it open to the public at other times. So all in all, nothing but good. But the real news is that there's now a commitment and a momentum to go forward with the development and there's no turning back now.